2021 will be a year of strong economic catch-up, with game-changing COVID vaccines helping us to effectively end the pandemic. Although rapid, economic recoveries will be patchy, with some countries and industries moving quicker than others. And we've seen this already in Asia, recovering faster than the rest of the world, and sectors like housing, manufacturing and trade outperforming areas such as transport, store sales and offices. While this rebound in activity could mean that inflation is recovering as well, this normalization process is unlikely to limit central banks' interventions. Continued monetary and fiscal support will remain key for the economic healing until mass vaccination campaigns reach billions of people. With this background in mind, let's look at our key investment convictions for the year ahead with Stefan. We've broken our 2021 convictions into a top 10. Sustainable solutions that are leading the transition to a circular, leaner, inclusive and cleaner economy are a key driver of future portfolio performance in 2021 and beyond. Joe Biden represents a return to more predictable US politics, which, combined with vaccines, should help global growth and trade to recover, and so reduce the demand for the US dollar. COVID vaccines and expectation for stronger global trade should drive some emerging currencies higher in the first months of the year. We see significant opportunities to add value by investing in private companies and infrastructure assets. China and emerging markets should all benefit from better trade relations worldwide. China is just too important and merits its own allocation in portfolios. Business cycle sensitive stocks are now looking more attractive as we see a path back to economic normality. That said, quality healthcare and technology companies are set to continue their performance. While it's still a struggle to find yield in government bonds, there are interesting returns in corporate credit and emerging market debt. Gold should be supported by short-term uncertainties, but as recovery strengthens, don't hold onto the precious metal for too long. The recovery will not track in a straight line, so investors need to hold some of their portfolio edges, such as US treasuries, Chinese government bonds, gold, the Japanese yen, or put options on equity indices. And then, and this is vital, manage them actively. Finally, portfolio needs to stay invested and well diversified. Equity should continue to rally, and fixed income carry strategy still provide returns. Thank you very much for watching.